Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lieutenant Commander Derek Randall, Deputy Director, Officer Development School. On behalf of the Commanding Officer of Officer Training Command Newport, welcome to the graduation ceremony for Officer Development School Class 21030, consisting of 69 officers. Military guests in uniform, this is a covered ceremony. The order of events for this morning's ceremony are as follows. Momentarily, Captain Mark Hazenberg, United States Navy, Commanding Officer, Officer Training Command Newport, will arrive. The guests and the class will rise for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the national anthem and invocation. The commanding officer will address the graduating class. Following his remarks, the commanding officer will then distribute the class awards. Following the awards presentation, the class will return their company guide on to their class chief and the class will reaffirm the oath of office. The class will remain standing for the playing of the service songs and the final dismissal. Please rise for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the national anthem and invocation. <laughs> Officer Training Command Newport arriving. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, Chaplain Butts will now offer the invocation. Let us pray. O Heavenly King, Comforter and Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, we give you thanks for this day of celebration and for all these graduating officers here present with us this morning. We come before you with joy in our hearts as we recognize the hard work and dedication that has brought each one to this day. A new adventure and challenge awaits as they soon will leave Officer Training Command to work in their respective fields of service to the men and women of the fleet. Be with each of them in the challenges of beginning a PCS move wherever their orders take them. Give their families peace knowing that you are with each of them through this time of transition. May they always cherish the memories and friends they've established here at Officer Training Command knowing that in de demanding times, an ODS shipmate is just a phone call away. May each day of their lives be filled with joy and fulfillment, knowing the positive impact that you will have on the sailors and Marines they will serve. May their careers be guided by the light of our Navy values of integrity, accountability, honor, courage, and commitment. Keep each of them in thy loving care and protection throughout the coming days and years and forever. Amen.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Mark Hazenberg, Commanding Officer, Officer Training Command, Newport. Officer Training Command staff, family and friends joining us virtually, and shipmates of Officer Development School, Class 21030. Good morning. Good morning, sir. It is an absolute honor and joy for me to have this opportunity to participate in today's ceremony that will start the Navy careers of the officers seated here. Today, my staff and I will bear witness as Class 21030 renews a solemn promise to our nation, reaffirming their oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States as professional naval officers. For the families joining us virtually, I want to both thank you and commend you for the performance of your sons and daughters, husband and wives, brothers and sisters. Your love, support, and personal standards have produced the quality individuals seated here ones who not only chose vocations that help their fellow human being, but who chose a path of service to their fellow citizens. I can think of no finer group to go forth into the fleet than the young, and in some cases not so young, officers seated here today. They could not have gotten to this point without the careful guidance and support of family. On behalf of the Navy and a grateful nation, please accept my most sincere thank you and well done. To the class, I am proud of you and all that you have accomplished while here. As you depart for your schools and duty stations, remember that your oath carries, to paraphrase Joseph Conrad's discussion of command at sea, far more obligations than privileges. You are about to be placed in a position to lead and mentor what are truly one of our most valued national products, the enlisted men and women of our Navy. Those that volunteer to serve are the precious national resources, so you must always treat them as such. You must view well and faithfully discharging your duties as a sacred responsibility, much as your outstanding class team here has felt that obligation to you. The foundations we have laid here at ODS are solid. It is now up to you to build upon this as you enter the Naval Service. For the class 21030, I am very impressed with the effort you have expended over the last several weeks. I want to thank you for all that you have done and will do in the service of this great nation of ours. It is my pleasure and distinct honor to welcome you to the wardroom as professional naval officers in the world's finest Navy. Thank you, Captain Hazenberg. At the conclusion of each ODS class, several students are recognized by their fellow classmates as well as the OTCN staff for their outstanding achievement during the five-week course of instruction. Ensign William Lamping, front and center. The Honor Student Award is presented to the officer who best demonstrates an overall excellence in the areas of academics, physical fitness, and military bearing. Consistently setting the example for his peers throughout the many challenges faced at Officer Training Command Newport, the Honor Student Award goes to Ensign William Lampin. Ensign Kristen Donahue, front and center. The Alfred Award is given to the officer who achieves the highest military grade derived of personnel inspections, room inspections, and general military bearing. This award was named after the Continental Sloop of War, the Alfred. Commissioned in 1775, the Alfred served as a flagship of native Rhode Islander Commodore Essex Hopkins, serving as a role model for Navy pride and professionalism, maintaining the highest military standards and providing inspiration to all, 
the Alfred Award goes to Ensign Kristen Donahue. Lieutenant Junior Grade Melissa Murray, front and center. The Captain George Townsend Smith Leadership Award is presented to the officer who personifies the highest standards of personal example good leadership practices, and moral responsibility. Officers were nominated by their peers and selected by the Officer Training Command Newport staff. The Captain George Townsend Smith Leadership Award goes to Lieutenant Junior Grade Melissa Murray. <laughs> Ensign Christopher Jeffers front and center. The Edy Award, named for Lieutenant Thomas Edy, United States Navy, recognizes the highest achievement in academic and military performance. Lieutenant Thomas Edy, who immigrated from Scotland, and settled in Rhode Island was awarded the Navy Cross and the Medal of Honor for his courageous efforts as a diver during the salvage of submarines SS-4 and SS-51 off the coast of Massachusetts. He was a member of the Southeastern New England chapter of the Retired Officers Association at the time of his death in 1974. In recognition of this accomplishment, in addition to a certificate of achievement, the Military Officers Association of America has also provided a three-year membership to the ED Award winner, Ensign Christopher Jeffers. <laughs> For the past five weeks, the company got on has been a symbol of spirit, dedication, teamwork, and unit identity. To symbolize the fact that these officers seated before you have completed their training, they will return their guide on to their class chief petty officer, chief information systems technician, submarines, submarine warfare, Gene Mycourt. Lieutenant Mark Manukel will now deliver the reaffirmation of the oath of office. Would all military personnel please come to the position of attention?
Ladies and gentlemen, the commanding officer, Officer Training Command Newport, would like to present to you your newly reaffirmed Naval officers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the service songs and the final dismissal. Officer Development School, Class 21030. Upon graduation from Officer Development School, you are ordered to detach and report to your duty stations to assume your duties and responsibilities by order of Mark Hazenberg, Captain, Commanding Officer, United States Navy, Officer Training Command, Newport. Aye, Class 21030, dismissed. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. On behalf of the commanding officer, Officer Training Command Newport, thank you for attending today's graduation. Please stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you. <laughs>